In most survival games out there, you're gonna have to travel throughout your own world to gain resources and materials to become stronger and defeat more powerful enemies, mobs, and bosses. A majority of the time spent moving throughout the world is by walking or running, but in some cases that can get old fast, and to access more difficult areas, you may need a more advanced way to travel. Today, I'm gonna be taking a look at the many ways that you can travel through the world of Orbis in Hytale. Hey everybody, what is going on? Canadian Flash here guys, and today everybody, I'm going to be talking about ways that we can travel through Orbis or other planets in Hytale, but first, if this is your first time watching or if you're new here and you're not subscribed and you want to see more Hytale content like this from me, then please go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. I have so much planned for the future of this channel and you certainly want to want to miss that when Hytale comes out, and also become a member, get some super cool perks and early access to a few things. So that being said, let's get right into the video. I'm going to start off by taking a look at Minecraft first and then talking about ways that you can travel in that game to give some reference from Minecraft into Hytale. In Minecraft you can walk and run very early in the game that's super simple all you got to do is like double tap W and you can sprint obviously you can't sprint if your hunger goes down to three but if you do if that does happen then maybe you can get a horse and to get a horse you find a saddle in some sort of dungeon chest or maybe you get like a donkey saddle or something and you ride a horse or a donkey around. To travel the water you can pretty much just swim or you can craft a boat and that is pretty much your best bet in the early stages to start traveling. Later on, once you get more advanced, you can travel through the nether and make some like different types of nether highways because then I think nether blocks, if I'm not mistaken, is like times eight the block in the overworld. So just say you travel one block in the nether, you'll travel eight blocks in the overworld. It is a lot faster to travel in the nether and it's so much easier. I've been playing an SMP recently and I literally do like 90% of my travel in the nether just because it's so much faster. After you finish the nether, you can go to the end to get an elytra. This is pretty much what most people just want to travel in Hytale or in Minecraft. It is the definitely the fastest way besides some sort of like crazy water trident stuff that you only get when it's raining outside. If you want a very consistent way of traveling fast, you need to get an elytra, you need to get on breaking three, and you need to get mending on it because those are very important and you certainly would not want to lose your elytra because without mending, without on breaking three, the thing breaks extremely fast. And I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but if you want to travel super super fast you can put like a boat on ice but that takes a lot of time to do you can put like i think it's like channeling a riptide on a trident you get like the dolphin effect you get some conduit effect and you can just whip through the air but who's got the time to build that i'm sure if you play minecraft a lot you can but that's those only happen in certain circumstances so i would say your best bet in minecraft is to use an elytra or even a horse because horses are really fast i just wanted to reference minecraft just to give you guys some context for today's video i'm not this is the only part the only time i'm going to be talking about minecraft in it so let's talk about hytale now now in hytale um there's a lot of comparisons that we have to minecraft that's why i was referencing minecraft before so obviously you're going to be able to walk you're going to be able to run you're going to be able to crouch and all that all the basic things that every every survival game has pretty much you know to outrun like maybe a zombie or something you're going to need to sprint and maybe to like hide from a torque behind a tree you're going to need to crouch you know all, all these type of things are different ways of like moving and everything like that also more early game stuff just like in minecraft there's probably going to be horses that you can tame we see a picture of horses i would 100 percent say that you can tame them and you can ride them you can also definitely make boats we haven't really seen anybody you know on a boat but i wouldn't be surprised and also just like in minecraft you can also ride minecarts i didn't mention this earlier but i guess i can put it now so you can ride minecarts in hytale you can also ride minecarts in minecraft so those are pretty much just a staple in every survival game so i fully expect hytale to have all of these options like seriously guys they're gonna have them like it's, it's certain like you could literally see a guy riding a minecart in the trailer so these options will 100 percent be in the game there is a concept art that i want to take a look at in this video and it was revealed in 2019 called back your ideas or was this 2018 this might have been revealed in 2018 with the when the website dropped actually i'm not too sure if many of you have seen this before because i don't really see many people discussing this and there's a lot of cool travel options in this concept art that get me really excited the first thing that stands out to me is the mechanical wings and to me this looks like hytale's version of an elytra but I guess maybe it won't be that hard to build. Who knows? I don't really know what the, obviously we don't know what the crafting recipe is or anything, but maybe it's some sort of like pelt. You get some uh, wood or something to put on your backpack, get some leather. Who knows? Uh, to me, when I see this, it kind of reminds me of the wings that Hiccup or the, the wing that Hiccup made for Toothless and How to Train Your Dragon. The way like it comes in and out, it just seems like that little thing that Toothless has on his like tail wing, which is really cool. Maybe maybe Hytale took inspiration from that. I wouldn't be surprised. So besides that, these wings in this concept art look really awesome and I really can't wait to test them in this game. Also, I wouldn't be surprised if these have a very low durability because to me, it looks they don't look 
that fastened together. Looks like there's like two str uh, two strings holding the little. Th let's just call it leather, holding the leather and the stick together. So if you hit something, it'll probably break. But maybe you can get like an unbreaking potion, or maybe you can level it up when you're older or when you're more advanced in height. So maybe instead of wood, you can make it into iron or something like that. That would be really cool. If you want a smaller and in my opinion more durable way, a version of the wings, then your best bet would be to use the parachute. This is really exciting to see because just for example, imagine if you go up a mountain and you reach the peak, kind of like how we saw in this one concept art. And once you reach the peak of the mountain, instead of walking back down, you can just jump off the side of the cliff and you'll slowly fall down while you embrace all the scenery. Maybe you'll see some cool mobs that you want to go to. Maybe you'll see some like cool um, elemental crystals like we see in this screenshot and everything like that. That's just really cool. And stuff like that makes me really excited. And the mechanical wings are cool, but if you can parachute off a cliff or you can maybe do some like skydiving, I think that'll be awesome. There are two more ways to travel the skies, but these next two seem to be in the more steampunk phase. So that's why I'm not really adding them into the category of the parachute and the mechanical wings. So yeah, like I said before, I feel like these would be obtained later on in your adventure mode. They may also not even be in adventure mode as the only gameplay we've seen of one of these two are in a multiplayer aspect. These two are the back propeller and the jetpack. They both look awesome. They are also in that concept art that I showed before, but these clearly are in the same category as the mechanical wings and parachute. Those two clearly only require you going and hitting air to like keep you going but with the back propeller and jetpack it seems like some sort of fuel is going to be used like we see a gear in the back propeller so that seems to me like some sort of steampunk type stuff and you may need actual fuel like coal or like coal burning have some internal combustion engine or something to keep those things going either way I think that'll be really cool we do see an image of or we do see a small little gameplay of the back propeller in some in the Hypixel minigame server so I would assume that those are very multiplayer and there might be some different cool like array races and stuff like that like imagine a jetpack race or imagine some sort of like propeller race maybe you can do some crazy mario kart stuff with those that would be really cool i can even see people just having their own like tournaments is going on with these things like if you have a backpack or a jetpack and you have just say somebody mods in beskar armor and stuff you can create mandalorian which is really cool so yeah that's what i wanted to talk about those two things there is a couple more uh ways to travel at hightail that i kind of want to talk about so one we're not sure if there's going to be like pirate ships or anything actually quite a few people talk to me or ask me if there are pirate ships in hightail i mean we've seen pirate ships but I feel like those are pre-built pirate ships and not just giant ones that you maybe you find abandoned or something. I mean, I, I, I would there are shipwrecks that are under the water, so obviously there are like there are those. But I'm not sure if you can craft a giant honking pirate ship that you can put in the water. Just want to throw that out there. One thing that we actually do see is a hot air balloon. We see this actually in the trailer, and there also is another screenshot that I got the picture from the thumbnail for. The hot air balloon looks to be really cool, and once again, I feel like it's going to be later on maybe not maybe you just got to create like a big balloon and everything in your own pouch but then you gotta you gotta burn a bunch of coal in there to get the heat because you know heat rises it goes into the balloon expands it and then it ends up lightening it or it gets so light that like you know it pushes the air up and everything and the balloon gets in the air but hot air balloon looks really awesome and i wonder how how much material it's going to take to make it because i feel like it's going to be a lot considering it's a hot air balloon and i don't know if the high tail time has really mastered the hot air balloon effect or whatever it's called so i hinted about this earlier and when i was talking about like horses and stuff like that but I want to talk about some mounts, and I feel like there's a couple mounts that can be in Hightail. Obviously, we've seen the ram. That's in the trailer. You can see the player riding the ram. And honestly, I would not be surprised if there's a whole bunch of other mounts. Because in Minecraft, we have a couple. We have a few mounts. You know, there's a couple. But in Hightail, I think there's going to be a lot more. One uh, big thing that I would really want in Hightail is to like ride a cave raptor or like a cave rex. I know I've said rideable raptors hundreds of millions of times already, and I think that'd just be so cool. And that should definitely be in Hightail because they're an arc and they gotta be in Hightail. Oh god, I can't wait for that. That'll be awesome. Even riding a T-Rex or the Cave Rex would be cool. Even riding like one of those Demetrodon things would be cool. Um, what do you guys think of if dragons were to be mounts? I think if a dragon is a mount, that would be awesome. I don't know how that would balance though. Maybe the dragon wouldn't fly that fast with you on it or something because 
if you're riding a dragon, you could probably fly around the world of Orbis quite quick because we see the dragon flying quite fast in one video where we see the dragon flying. So I would also like to maybe see some sort of underwater mounts. Maybe you can tame a couple sharks or two. That would be interesting. Maybe there's dolphins in Hytale. You can tame a dolphin and you can ride the dolphin. I think that would be really cool. Just mounts like that that help you travel the underwater easier would be really nice. I don't know if that'll be a possibility considering we do have like some sort of scuba gear, but either way, uh, underwater mounts I think would be really nice to be added into Hytale. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I know it's not the longest one, but there is going to be another upload this week, so be prepared for that one. That one, I think, is going to be really good and really interesting, so be prepared. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more Hytale content like this. We are currently on the grind to 10,000 subscribers. I hope we can get that by the, hopefully, the end of the year. That would be nice. I mean, Social Blade is projecting me to get 30k by the end of, like, 365 day span, so that'll be really exciting. Hopefully, we can do that, but if not, I mean, 10k, face the real at 10k, so you know how it is so hope you all enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button and subscribe and also if you did really enjoy and you want to support me even further become a member super easy super cheap you get some cool perks and stuff like that so yeah with all that being said hope you all enjoyed and uh have a great day goodbye